What's up, guys? Welcome back to Real Bucks Talk. Let's look at the Bucks offensive line and how they fared against the Vikings defensive line. To be honest, they, they didn't look too bad. They actually looked pretty good considering all the question marks that they had going into the game. And Tristan Wirfs at left tackle, what the heck is he going to look like? Get a key, full-time right tackle. So many question marks. But let's break it down first. The running game, this is the only area where there is room for improvement. Passing game looked good, but plus, break down the run. What's going on here? Yeah, so just doing like an inside run here. Um, and they do a good job here just sealing it. A great job here by Matt Filer, Tristan Wirfs getting downhill. You're creating an alleyway here. So, you know, tight end coming in to help. Tristan gets his man, the the linebacker, and a good read there by Rashad White. There's opportunities. I mean, that's the only thing that's missing. Like, this run game was so close to exploding for, you know, more, you know, bigger runs. Uh, but right here is a well-executed play. Pick up at least six yards. Um, but there's opportunities for more. Yeah, like you were saying, opportunities. The offensive line and running back need to be in unison. We usually say, like, your hands and feet need to be in unison. Like, so look how big of a gaping hole this is. If Rod or Rashad White fakes it and comes back inside, that's a huge gainer. There's no one behind this guy. That's a big gain, but he chose to go outside. I don't know why. He gets tackled for a short gainer. And here again, so maybe Tristan Wirfs holding this guy a little bit longer so he can get a little bit more time to get in the space. But, I mean, there is alleyways opening up. I mean, as you see people blocking down the field, check out Kate Otten if he gets down here on this guy. Behind that is wide open space. So, I mean, there is, like you were saying, potential. There is a lot of potential there. What did you see on this one? Yeah, again, it's it's good job by pretty much everyone. And like you said, just a little bit more finish um, from one or two guys. You have opportunities uh, for bigger plays. Same thing here. There's opportunities to have, you know, more explosive. You know, Hainsey gets beat by the middle linebacker. Kate Otten, you know, tries to sustain his block. Um, so, it's again good re here by Rashad. He sees the cutback. There's there's options, just couldn't get enough. And you know number forty makes the play. Yeah, like you were mentioning, if Hainsey stays on this guy, forty's the one that makes the tackle. If he hangs it, I mean that's got to be a block, right? Right there, you got to take this guy out immediately because he bounces it. Then he has to get upfield to get to the safety. But no, it's, the linebacker's right there. So there's little things where you can get a good running game going if you just secure certain blocks. Here again, everyone's going rolling towards one side what happened here plus yeah here it, it could go you know one of two ways but again good block here mostly by the the line moving everyone to uh the right side or, or the left side i should say and then he tries to cut it back to the right and again it's just one guy you know kate on can sustain 58 a little bit longer there's potential for more uh he also has an opportunity to maybe keep it to the left and run behind uh, Tristan and Matt Filer because there's an opening going that way. Um, but just great overall finish. And last thing on this, just a dominant block by Luke uh, Gedeke as he really finishes the guy into the ground. Now watch all the way across your screen, and then let me finish you. And then also give credit. Look at Tristan Wirfs over here at left tackle. Watch him just move Neil Hunter right out of the way. One-armed, you're going to get out of the club. Let's, let's go for a walk. That's nice. That's good blocking. So, I mean, it's just... They need to get together in unison. Like every, there's so many opportunities there. It's just the little things. I mean, even here, like Sean Tucker with speed, there's a little alleyway there. I don't know what this little choppy feet thing is here. You already had, you see the hole. The hole's there, opened up. Go, take it. He just chops it up. He still picks up yardage, but it could have been a lot bigger. So the opportunities to me, and plus they are there. And it's, a, again, it's a first time running the offense. Maybe they need to iron some things out, but there were successful opportunities there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, same thing here. Again, you're getting guys on on hats, you're you're lining people up. So that's the positive. It's not like guys are coming scot free wide open. Um, so that's it. That's a good thing. Uh, and you're still maintaining yards, you're still getting positive yards um, forward. It's just there's bigger if one thing clicks here, then it's a big opportunity uh, for the run game. And now we get into pass protection, which I thought they were pretty flawless. Um, yeah. it was very impressive just how they moved. Everyone was in sync with their slide protections, making sure everyone had someone Rashad White's going to come down here, pick up the, the blitzing, uh, safety and does a great job to allow, uh, Baker to throw the speed out. Yeah. We may have been talking bad about Hainsey with some of his blocks, but a lot of these are his calls to tell where are we going to slide to? What are we going to do? And 
they were spot on on these. Let's be honest about, about that. And then on this rep, check out Tristan Wirfs. Just finish this dude. Just put him right in the ground. You're going to lean on me. I'm going to chop your arms down. You're going straight down, and then I'll lay on you. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Give me a little bit more breakdown. Yeah, it was very, very beautiful. I mean, Tristan looked like a pro already at left tackle, so shouldn't be worried about him. I thought overall one through five guys played good. Um, so, again, here, same thing. You're going to slide protection to the right. Um, make sure you guys, you know, everyone's in position. Um, Cade coming over to take that guy. It was just really nice. Um, again, only three man rush, but it gives you, you know, perfect pocket and Baker allowed to throw down the field here. Just need to catch the ball. Yes. <laughs> um, I had I heard someone say Mike Evans dropped it on purpose. I was like, why would you drop it on purpose? Uh, okay, we keep going on again, especially with their identification of. The, the blitzes, who's coming in. I mean, all these guys are on the line. Just sticking with it, not getting too into your head, figuring out what, what's going to happen, who, who's in front of me. I loved it. I mean, I thought they played, they pretty much gelled as a unit in pass pro. Mm, yeah, absolutely. And it just, nothing was too big for them. They didn't panic about any look or, in, you know, guys were most, for the most part, in position and, and ready to block. Um, again, same thing here, just, Picking up the blitzes, Rashad White doing a good job, good slide protection. You give enough time for for Baker to make this throw. This was the first play of the game. Um, and again, Danell Hunter makes a great play, gets his hands up. But then you see the body slam by uh, <laughs> uh, Get a Key. So usually, yeah, they jump up and you body slam them once. They'll think about it if they do it again. Uh, and then here's Get a Key. He gets beat here with a holding call, but maybe next time just push him, continuously push him because Baker's mobile. So just give him enough so he can get a step up. I mean, if anyone runs an arc that wide, that's an opportunity for Baker to get out and make a play in space. But, hey, he learned from it. I think we only had three penalties on the entire game, so it wasn't like a re reoccurring thing, which people were scared of before the, the game even started. Yeah, absolutely. And this was, the I think, the only penalty on the offense. So, overall, guys, the Bucks offensive line did, did a heck of a job. Let's see if it continues this week against Chicago. Uh, be sure to hit the like button, uh, comment down below your thoughts of the Bucks offensive line performance. What do you think of the running game? I feel it's coming. It's close. So uh, it should be fun. But with that said, until the next one.